Hello friends from this video tutorial we are going to develop simple project by using PHP language with Ajax jQuery. Here we are going to make inventory management system in PHP script by using different technologies like Ajax, jQuery, data tables plugin and bootstrap framework. We have discussed many topic in web development by using PHP with Ajax jQuery, but now from this tutorial we are going to use different web development technologies to implement inventory management system. This is simple inventory system in which user can store inventory details and maintain inventory, can track available inventory, can track total value of inventory order and many more. This system we have divided into different module like login module, profile module, user management module, brand management module, category management module, inventory management module, order management module and lastly analytics module. This login page of our system, so here we have enter master user password John Smith at gmail. And password is equal to password. Here we have use master user login which can see everything. After login into system, we can see different value on index page of our system. This things we will discuss in analytics module. From this analytics, we can get idea of total user brand, category, product in stock. We can also get total value of order overall and we can also see order value by user wise. This all things we will discuss in analytics module video tutorial. On right side we can see username John Smith, so we have click on this and we can see drop down menu with two option like profile and logout. So we have click on profile. Here master user or sub user can change his information like name, email and password also. This things we will discuss in profile module. Here we can see different menu like user, category, brand product and order on nav bar. Here master user can access all menu and sub user can only access order menu only. Now first we have see user module so we have click on user menu and here we can see all sub user list with different action like add new user, edit user details and remove user. For create new user we have click on add button and by clicking on this button form has pop up and here we can different user information like username, email and password. So from here we can create new user who can access our system, for edit particular user information we can click on this update button. By clicking on this button we can see pop modal with form. So from here we can change user information. Suppose we do not want to change password. So we can leave as blank. So from here we can change user information. Suppose we want to lock particular user login. Then by clicking on delete button we can lock particular user login. And suppose we want to unlock login then we have again click on delete button of that user. So this all things we will discuss in user module video tutorial. Now we have C category module, so we have click on category menu, after clicking on this menu we can see category page on web page. Here we can manage category of this system. Here we can add new category, here can change category details and suppose we do want to use particular category. So this things we can also done by clicking on delete button, after clicking on delete button, then category status has been changed to inactive and after inactive category we will not be loaded at the time of product enter. 
For add new category we can click on this add button and one modal has been pop up on web page and here we can see form. So here we can enter new category. Suppose we want to change any category name then we can do by clicking on this update button. After click on update button edit form has pop up and we can change category details. This all things we will discuss in category management module video tutorial. Now we have moved to see brand management module. So we have click on brand menu and after click on this menu we can see brand details on web page. Here we can manage all brand of inventory management system. Here we can add new brand, edit brand and active inactive brand status. Suppose we want to add new brand so we have click on this add button and after clicking on add button we can see modal with form has pop up on web page. In form we can see two form fields like category list and text box for enter brand name, here we can enter brand's name for particular category. So here we have categorized brand in different category. Same way suppose we want to change some brand details, so we have click on update button of particular brand. After clicking on update button modal has pop up with filled form fields. So here we can change brand details and suppose we want to stop to use particular brand, so we have simply click on delete button, after click on delete button this brand we cannot be able to use at the time of entering product details. Suppose we want to again use particular brand then we have simply click on delete button and that brand status changed to active. This all things we will discuss in brand management module video tutorial. Now we have moved to see inventory management module, so we have click on this product menu and after click on product menu we can see all product details on web page. On web page we can see product details like id, category, brand, product name, quantity with action button like view. Update and delete. So here we can add new product, change existing product details, view complete details of product, continue or discontinue to use product. Suppose we want to see complete details of particular product then we can see by clicking on this view button, so after have click on view button we can see particular all product details in modal. After this we want to add new product so we have click on add button and after click on this button then modal has pop up with add product form. So we can add product by filling this form. Same way we want to change particular product details, so we can do this things by click on update button, modal has pop on web page with filled form. So here we can change product details by edit this form details. And lastly we want to discontinue to use, so we can this things by click on delete button, after clicking on delete button particular product status we will inactive and this product will not see at the time of create order. Same way we want to continue product, so we have again click on inactive product delete button and that product status will be active. This all things we will be discuss in inventory management module video tutorial.
Now we have moved to order management module. So we have click on order menu and after click on menu we can see order details in tabular form on web page. On web page we can see order details like order it, customer name, total order amount, payment status, order status, order date and order created by which user. This all details we can see on web page. Suppose we want to create new order, so for create new order we have click on this add button, after clicking on button modal has pop up on web page with form fields. This is simple order form in which we can add multiple item for creating invoice, so by filling this form with multiple product item we can create invoice. Here only that product will be visible in select box whose status is active. After creating order invoice then that particular quantity we will be reduced from available quantity. After creating order of particular item, so number of order quantity of particular product has been reduced from particular available quantity, which we can see on product page here. After creating order, now we want to see that order invoice in PDF. So we can click on this view PDF button we can see order invoice in PDF format. We can also change order invoice details by clicking on this update button and in update form we can add or remove particular item from order invoice. So here we can change add or remove item from invoice at the time of update invoice. This all details we will discuss in order management module video tutorial. This is system view when master user has logged in into system. Now we have moved to see system view when sub user has logged in into system. So we have enter sub user email as doniahuber at gmail.com and in password we have enter password and click on login button. After login into system into inventory management system by sub user he can view only total order value with cash and credit order value which he has created in analytics, he cannot see complete analytics details. Same way he cannot see all module of this system, but he can only able to access only order management module and he can only see order details which he has created. He cannot see other user order details. And lastly in right side of NAF bar he can see his or her name and after click on name we can see profile page and logout link. So here we have click on profile link. After clicking on profile link he can view form for change his or her profile details like name, email and password. Suppose sub user want to change his or her password. So he can change by entering new password in both text box. So here sub user can change his or her information like username, password and email. This all things we will discuss in profile module. So friends this simple introduction of inventory management system which we will develop in next video tutorial. This is simple inventory management system which we will develop by using PHP. MySQL, Ajax, jQuery data tables plugin and bootstrap framework.
In next part we have start developing inventory management system with login module. If you have any input regarding this system please comment in comment box, so we can more improve this system and we will make robust system by using PHP script with Ajax query, Datatables plugin, bootstrap framework with MySQL database. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.